the number of agents in your market has anything whatsoever to do with your success. I want, I want you to go back to that place and you've got to rise above that because that has zero to do with you and your success. The effort per relationship created is at an all-time same, like it's an all-time plateau, like, it, like it, it hasn't went up whatsoever, right? Whoever talks to the most people and can make the most friends in the market, there's no competition there. There's no competition for you to talk to people. There's an unlimited amount of people in you guys' market to talk to. You'll never talk to all of them. So you've got job security for the rest of your life. You can never get through it all. That's your job, talking to people. When you look at the Zillows and you look at the Googles and the Apples and the Amazons, their drug of choice is data. Their drug of choice is data. We have to think of our little small individual real estate businesses the same exact way. We need to be data driven. We need to be first a friendship creator and data collector first and real estate agent second. Every day when we wake up, our job needs to be, can we add five more people to our database today? Every day, five more people, five more people. Make five more friends to add to our database, to get our weekly emails. I've seen so many agents come in and do three deals and then you won't see them for, for four months. They'll spend all their money, come back and do it all over again. And that's fine. They're living the life. Like they take that three deals worth of money. They go pay their bills for a couple months and like party, you know, real hard and have a good time, you know, and then they come back and you know, they need more money. So they go do three more deals and then you don't see them for three more months. There's plenty of agents out there like that. I don't, I don't get it. Like even when I was in my party phase, I was still working all day and then partying all night. I was still pushing. Even when I got to the point 2014 when I actually quit drinking altogether. I was I made 600 grand that year. And the year before I probably made 450, you know, like going out and partying every night. You know, so I was my business was still on point. At that point I couldn't go to a million without getting sober and actually, you know, getting my stuff together. You know, so I had to at that point I would have plateaued out at like 500 a year if I wouldn't have quit partying, right? But to take it to the next level, I had to that's what I had to do. I was never not consistent with my prospecting and whatever I was doing. I mean, that's just the name of the game. Like I was born to be consistent and dependable and honest and, you know, do what I'm supposed to do and work hard. If you look at a personal branding agent versus a sales agent, their businesses look very, very, very similar in the first couple years. They're both out there hustling and bustling and calling people and trying to work deals and make it happen. But the sales guy is not accumulating a database and building a personal brand. He's just doing sell after sell after sell. The personal branding agent is doing the sell after sell or sell, but they're also accumulating all relationships into a database and have a system in place to stay in touch with these people forever on a consistent basis. They're also creating relationship with people who don't want to buy or sell today. That's the difference. The personal branding agent, the one who's really going to win big, they're creating relationships with people in the market regardless if they want to buy or sell today or not because they know that that prospect will buy or sell eight to ten times in their life and refer another eight to 10 people to them.